Finding Dory Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I painted this Finding Dory Nail Art design that has Dory and the logo and a beautiful gradient background. If you are interested in looking at some 3D nail art, I will put a link to my 3D version in the description box below, so check that out. And don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos as well. Begin by painting all of your nails with one coat of white nail polish. On a cosmetic wedge or makeup sponge, I'm going to be painting first a layer of a light aqua color and then a slightly darker shade of teal and then a slightly darker shade of blue and sponging that across all of my nails. And when you're doing colors, color gradient like this, move your sponge up and down a little bit so that the colors blend together, add a second coat, and then apply a layer of a shimmery polish just to help blend the colors together and protect the gradient when you're cleaning around your nail to remove all that excess, which is what I'm doing right now just with a cotton swab dipped into some polish remover just to get rid of any of that polish that has gotten on my skin. And if you wanted to, you could have taped off your nail just so that you didn't get so much and didn't have to clean around so much, but I figure if I'm gonna be cleaning anyway, I might as well just do it all, all at once. So now I'm going to be um, painting the outline of my dory and I'm going to be doing this on my ring and my thumb. So I started with the top area like her forehead and then I worked my way down and around, around her upper and lower jaw, inside her mouth and then around her tummy and towards her tail. And now I'm going to be painting her eyes And then adding just a couple details. I'm not going to do go too crazy on the other details besides her fins and stuff, all of those major parts, just because I'm going to be filling it in now and those lines are going to get messed up anyway and you'll have to redo them. So why do them twice? So now I'm going to be filling in pretty much everything besides her eyes and the inside of her mouth with a, a really medium shade of blue paint. So I'm going to be filling in those fins. And then I'm going to fill in her eyes with white. Add a dot of red in each one, and then a dot of black for the pupil. And then I'm going to go through and fix all my outlines and then do the extra little details with black that I didn't do before. So I'm going to start by adding the area of like her eyebrow, and then continue that line down and around the side of her back, down towards her tail, and on her side for that side pattern and side stripes, and then add a little line on each fin. And then fill in the tips of each fin and the tip of her tail with yellow. On my index nail, I'm going to be painting the front end of the Finding Dory logo. So for me, this is going to be the D-O, and I'm going to start with the underline that goes in the bottom. And the underline is sort of this wavy line that kind of gives you a aquatic feel. And so on my first nail, on my index nail, it's just sort of an upward line. So it just goes just swooping up just a little bit. And the reason you want to do this first is because the bottom of the D and the bottom of the O get cut off by this line. They rest on it and so they don't have that complete shape. They kind of get, like I said, cut off a little bit. So you don't want to paint that and then have to remove it. So if we do that first, then you know where to paint and so on. So then I'm going to be painting the D and I have that whole half of a nail to paint it. So this is only two letters. You don't have to worry about saving room for all the other letters because you have a whole bunch of space. And so you can make these really nice and large if you if you want to. So then I'm going to be painting my O next to it. And the center of the O is actually a little fish cutout shape. If you don't want to do the fish shape, you can just leave it a circle. It's a little easier. But I think that doing it with the fish shape is pretty cute and does add quite a bit of detail. And then above the D-O, you're going to want to write the word finding. And if writing out finding entirely is too small for you, and it is really, really small. And if your nails are smaller than mine, it'd be extremely difficult. You can split it up onto two separate nails like you are doing with the dory. So you could write find above this part and then do the ing on the other nail if you wanted. So I'm going to start and the D is about right in the middle. So you have F-I-N before it and I-N-G after it. And then on my middle nail I'm going to be finishing the logo. So I'm going to start once again with that underline. And instead of going up, this time it's curving down. And so when you put them together it looks like it's just this sort of stretched out S shape. So that's the first thing I'm going to do, and just like before, that does show the bottom shape of my letters. So then when I do the R, the R doesn't have the extended line like it normally would because it gets cut off by that line. So when I'm doing these letters, because they are nice and blocky and thick, um, I first like to paint them in a thinner form and then go through and thicken them up. I find this is a lot easier than trying to accomplish that thick line right from the get-go because if you miss something or if you do something a little out of place you can always fix it because your lines aren't finalized whereas if you just go and try to make them really thick and do it really fast you're probably going to end up with more mistakes which is never fun because sometimes it's not easy to fix your mistakes 
So then on my pinky nail, I'm just going to be painting some bubbles and to paint bubbles, I'm going to do a circle and then just a little line inside the circle for a highlight on my bubble. And once they get smaller, you can just make them dots instead. And then of course, add a layer of top coat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook and Instagram. I would absolutely love to see them. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!